Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to have a sort of a bizarre video. <laughs> so uh, we're having a little sort of tutorial about how to run your clubs depending on the conditions, on, on different starting conditions. Uh, well today in particular we're going to analyze a very specific case uh, which I think is quite uh, representative of um, of so many clubs around uh, in Trophy Manager. <coughs> so, um, and this is probably going to be the very first tutorial about this kind of um, this kind of things. So, of course, let me know in the comments if you liked it. What could be improved for the following ones? And uh, if you want to request a tutorial, of course, I'd be very glad, or at least an, an analysis, um, as far as I can get, of course, into details uh, about your own club or somebody else's club, what they should do to improve, at least according to my opinion, then uh, let me know in the comments. Of course, I'd be very glad to analyze as many teams as possible, even because, of course, while doing this kind of videos, I do learn as well. So, uh, I'd like to have a look today at this club. This is the name. They are playing in, of course, for the Albanian uh, Championship. They are... Here, I don't know why it's not enlightened, but yeah, they are here. Of course, it's a good team, uh, at least within this category. And I'd like to first uh, have a look at a few things and, and scratch the surface. Then we'll go uh, more into depth with uh, every single uh, aspect of uh, of this club. So very first thing to do is having a look at the economy. Of course we cannot we cannot sorry we cannot uh see the um, uh the financial uh, details but we can s what we can see here is that economy is supposed to be really good really good at Honestly, I cannot remember, but it's probably around two or three hundred millions plus, uh, which means they can, of course, afford to uh, to sign new players and good players, actually. But uh, it's not a massive amount of money, and I am pretty sure they are not getting what we are getting here, for instance. Let's have a look. When you run your finances, in my opinion, you have to make sure you get these positive interests. Because they're sort of free money you get every single week. And it's uh, capped to a maximum of 5 million per week. Which might not sound like much, but if you consider that... For instance, the maintenance of a quite an advanced. Um, let me have a look. Of quite advanced premises like ours, cost thirty million. You have five millions covered by uh, by this already, so it might not sound like much, but five million is quite. A decent amount of money to earn every week and it and it's free so why not trying to get it and I will try to uh, tell you how you can uh, you can s as seamlessly as possible get to get that money without compromising too much the quality the overall quality of the squad so this is the very first thing we have to consider. Second thing we have to consider is the number of fans. 
17.6 thousand um, again keep this in mind we'll, we'll understand why this is important afterwards then let's have a look I wanted to have a look at this the stats then we have a good squad of course as you can see here the level was way higher than our squad and they are very experienced they are very old though on average 33.2 years of age which means some players are going to retire and a retired player in my opinion is somewhat a waste of money because um, after a few season a few seasons you pay those players you train those players and training facilities of course do cost some some money and then you let them go without even trying to recover some money so in my opinion this is not good especially if you have good players like these who can be sold uh, I don't know one season earlier and can bring you some money and of course cost less in terms of wages because if you sell this guy here before he gets um, before he retires you're probably not going to get a lot of money but you are still going to get something back uh, by transfer listing him and you're going to get rid of one wage of one quite high wage in my opinion for one whole season which means several millions let's have a look at this player here for instance his wage is probably higher than my highest wage of course he's very good but he's as good as my as our best player of of Sissi United he costs just as much in terms of weekly wage and um, of course he performs better because he's got more experience but why not selling him I mean you can get some money back on the other hand this guy here is trying to avoid this kind of things and you can see it here he's trying to transfer it to transfer list this Carlson guy and of course it's a very good mean to um, to get some money back and it's a very good idea in my opinion uh, plus we can see a few younger players this one guy over here very good and these young players we don't know how good they are but of course we'll have a look at the facilities afterwards and we'll see if this uh, club can actually bring them to this level or at least three and a half full stars just to make them worth the effort to to hire them and keep them for uh, for a while so let's close this so of course this is a good team let's keep in mind that the the overall performance of the team in the championship is very good uh, especially if we consider that this apparently is a it's a high level championship so I wanted to have a look at the club stats because here we're going to see the average attendance of the stadium this team is here so the average attendance is nearly 40,000 um, uh, sorry attendance how do you call them so now we're going to have a look at the facilities 43.5 thousand seats in my opinion if you have a home average 
of nearly 40,000. This is either very good if you usually are between uh, 35,000 and 43,000. Um, uh, oh, sorry, uh, spectators every time. Every, for every match so in my opinion this could be a very very good balance so 43.5 means that you're not letting people out of the stadium you're earning every single penny off them uh, so I think this is uh, very good I should be able to um, to see every single attendance uh, details uh, detail in order to state that 100% sure but I'm afraid I cannot we cannot stay here half an hour for me to watch everything but uh, this is still uh, in my opinion this should be a very very good balance so he's not wasting any money here um, let's have a look at the fast food restaurant so level 6 with that much attendance, you have to take this all the way up to the max level. You have to max it out straight away. Um, in this case, in our case, for instance, this costs four hundred fifty thousand per week, forty uh, credits per spectator, which means uh, if you have 40,000 spectators it is around uh, 1.6 am I wrong sorry um, thousand so 40,000 400,000 well, yes 1.6 million income so why not taking it uh, why not maxing it out you'd be earning 1.2 million per week with that much attendance it's um, it's very important this one um, this sausage stand same thing merchandise stand exactly the same thing merchandise store it only works well when you have a very high amount of fans of official fans and as we saw, as we saw earlier, we've got 17,000, 17.6 thousand here. So it's definitely worth it to have it at 10. Very good job. Um, let's have a look at the training grounds. No, sorry. Let's have a look at, at the uh, financial structures first. So restaurant level 6, same thing here. We have to max it out. Uh, too many spectators to waste their money uh, we want to exploit as as much as possible all of that audience because this will allow to afford uh, to sign very very uh, important players very strong players very experienced players seamlessly without suffering any loss in terms of economy so this is very important and this will allow you to build up more uh, training facilities and youth development uh, facilities because of course you will need stronger and stronger players every year to uh, to achieve of course as many goals as possible so here you have the training grounds which I was talking about earlier and uh, these are at level 9 then uh, I will try to of course I already told why I already said uh, why these are important so I'm not going to repeat it same thing here uh, with all of that audience all of the money you can get off these places here uh, everywhere you should be able to build uh, to bring these structures to 10 both of them no no problem at all in my opinion and so uh, let's 
talk team now the squad so here we have where's the squad here so here we have quite an old team all right what I would do in this case are two things mainly number one uh, sell the older players trying to keep just 11 12 good players as you can see here we have three let's not consider this one four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen players who can actually play in this category and very well so you're not going to suffer if you guys uh, who have this sort of uh, team who are running this sort of club this club would not suffer from selling a couple players and uh, thanks to selling those you'd have less wages to pay a little bit more money which means more money to invest in sorry where is it uh, stadium to invest into this into this into this into this in order to have a higher income every single week uh, that said you could afford then very good players to swap these old players and um, and sign some as good but younger players plus second point when you choose players to uh, to play for your team and with the same amount of uh, stars and with the same amount of routine for every uh, player so provided this sort of situation in terms of squad with a high level of professionalism per player which I'm afraid I don't know now because I should scout them all and I do not have enough scouts here to to use but I would recommend uh, personally to make sure the professionalism with these players is as high as possible because it's going to make a massive uh, difference. I'll set an example, a very tiny one. I'm not saying this is uh, true 100% of the time, but I would say at least 90% of the time. I've got a very low level player in in the B team. So in the reserve squad we've got this one player over here. Alright. Well why this loads let's have a, let's load the players list as well. So that we can have a look. So, um, why don't you load? All right. So um, here we have a very little experienced player, uh, a very slow player. As you can see, four pace points, ten finishing points that are not very good. But still, this player, thanks to his five points of professionalism, could reserves I'm sorry guys for for the for the fact that this computer is very slow, but it's starting it's handling it's very old and it's handling a few things at the same time so let's have a look not really it's this one yes so this one player over here very low experience uh, not special qualities in uh, the reserve squad so you cannot even say the other players are helping them out a lot in order to perform well this season he's played three matches, he's called three goals and 
has made through uh, two assists. It does not happen all the time, I must admit, but it does mean that professionalism definitely does affect the performances. So especially if you're playing at a very high level, make sure when you hire players they have a high level of professionalism. Because I am pretty sure such a team like the one you, we saw here, which is very good in terms of skills, very very good, I am pretty sure they could be achieving a little bit more in the championship which is still a high level championship so it's not going to be easy some tactics had to be applied but um, I am pretty sure they they would be higher in the list a little bit so uh, this is uh, what I would do basically now, if I were in the shoes of this manager, what I would do is selling the older and probably less useful uh, players at the same time. As you can see here, we've got a midfielder, an offensive midfielder right, and a midfielder right, midfielder who can play right as well. An offensive midfielder left and right so um, uh, offensive midfielder right so all of these uh, wingers five wingers for two roles I would stick to uh, four that would be good then we have uh, another defensive and uh, regular left midfielder these are six then one two three, four, five, six, who can play as a winger. So these are just a little bit too much. I would, if you really want to uh, achieve um, goals, uh, your your of course your club's goals, then uh, I would probably sell a couple of these six players the older ones in particular in order for them not to retire too soon to be sold and um, I would make some money to expand to enhance the facilities <coughs> for mon the ones who produce money then right afterwards I would improve these would enhance the, the train facilities and in the end I would find myself with more money to spend in uh, to spend for more players and I would have a higher level youngsters coming from a higher level um, youth uh, youth department so uh, one there's one different strategy actually that people could apply but it's very difficult to run so selling sorry uh, transfer listing the players that you do not need during the day of course uh, the central part of the day in order to earn more money uh, I will not explain it again uh, I, I had already explained it uh, explained it in some previous videos or uh, basically a very Thursday when when we sell players I would transfer list the uh, the older players of course during the day and I would try to uh, well I would not sorry but the uh, the the players uh, the gamers basically who would like to run this kind of strategy would have to uh, s uh, transfer list the players during the day and look for very good deals during the night when most of the world is asleep except for well we're talking about Europe here so Albania uh, so let's say at 3 or 4 a.m. in Albania it would be probably 
uh, the evening uh, in East Asia and Australia sort of and it would be um, very early no sorry uh, uh, uh. I'm getting something wrong so 4 a.m. Uh, it would be no, it would be late. It would be very. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it would be late at night in uh, the U.S. and and uh, yeah, the central part of the U.S. basically and Southern America. If I'm doing this wrong, please tell me in the comments if I'm terribly wrong. If it's the other way around, and it should be sort of uh, mid uh, sort of noon in Australia and Eastern uh, Asia which means people would probably be working and it would be late at night uh, or nearly late at night in the US and uh, South America which means people were would probably be about to go to sleep so uh, you would be able to buy players for a lower price because not many people would be on th the actual computer or tablet or or smartphone whatever in order to look for deals so this is one other possible strategy but then you would be you should be considering the fact that you have to buy players for a good pr price so you you'd have to be a very keen deal seeker very difficult to run as a strategy yes I would rather go for the safer way so uh, increasing the the level of this of the facilities of course this club can 100% afford this because they've they have a very good attendance at the stadium and uh, a good a very good amount of fans so uh, why not exploiting them so all in all, uh, what I would recommend is, guys, try to plan your way through the game rather than buying fantastic players like these, or very good players anyway, um, and finding yourself with, um, with very old players on the other hand that could mean a massive loss of money very high quality for the team uh, very good results overall because as you can see here there's a, a good results in the in the second category of any any possible country basically um and uh and being broken <laughs> Uh, I would rather, yes, I would rather go for the safer way. So build up slowly. Um, try and get as many interests as you can, as I am doing here. Where's our finances screen? Let's wait for it to load. Yes, so 5 million free every week and in the case of this club here so many more millions thanks to the facilities trust me uh, this club has a very bright future ahead but I think a few changes uh, should be made at least in terms of facilities I do not know still the professionalism of the players which every single club owner should uh, f uh, should look into uh, and I don't know exactly how the finances are going but I suppose uh, they are not being explode, uh, exploited as much as they could be so I'm sorry if this was a very long video but hopefully that has made a few points clear so basically how to run a club especially on the long run um, hopefully that was useful for many of you guys 
Uh, leave me a comment if you did or if you uh, did not like this sort of tutorial and um, please give feedback because I, I'd really like to have many more tutorials like this and uh, I really need your uh, your opinion about it in order to uh, make more useful contents for every uh, player of this game so or even uh, just curious people so thanks a lot again uh, and please support the channel guys I'll be bringing so many more contents one day but of course uh, I will need your support thanks a lot again and see you in the next video.